Hi, welcome to Daddy Curb's farm. A few days ago, you saw me split a beehive that was angry into three different hives. Today, I have new queens, and I'm gonna go out and see if I can put those in there to successfully finish splitting those hives. I just got home from work. The queens are here. I can't delay. I gotta get this done. So we're almost out here to the hive. I'm gonna get the smoker fired up, get these queens ready, and I'll show you how I'm putting them in. Before we get into the hives, I wanna just take a look at these that I put out because of the uh, parasites that were in there. The goal, yeah, see the parasites, parasites are still in there. I guess these frames were too densely packed and there wasn't enough it wasn't enough sunlight so we're just going to take each of these frames and expose them to a bit more sunlight these bees that are on here they're just here robbing this out they are um, they're not defending this hive because it's not their hive that is just nasty those worms they leave a slimy trail and they destroy the comb you can see on this frame here where there were several queen cups well may maybe they were trying to raise some queens because the the old queen was not doing too well i'm just setting this camera up and there the bees they're already getting very interested in me I want you to be able to see what I'm doing. These are the two nukes that I'll be uh, introducing queens. And then the hive that this camera is sitting on is also one where I'll be putting a new queen. Now the goal is that because I left them for three days, over three days, not quite four days I should be able to tell which ones have a queen and which ones don't based on the presence of eggs now that theory could work against me if there's a laying worker because sometimes if they go without a queen for longer than 24 hours they're going to start some of the workers can turn into laying workers and start laying eggs now they're not going to be eggs that turn into a population of bees all right, let's see what these queens look like. The queens come in these in these cages. That's an Italian queen with a, a blue mark on her back. I'm going to attempt to put her in uh, one of these nukes. But before I put her in, I'm going to open the nuke and just go through it to see if there's any uh, queen cells because I need to take those out. in the first nuke. I need to pull these frames out one at a time. And just make sure there's no queen cells being built. Now this one is just honey, so there's not much chance of anything being on there. And the back side is just honey as well. Which I'll leave that one out to make it a little easier. Move these. They haven't had time to stick them with propolis so I can move it around without the hive tool. This is mostly honey too. Now this, I don't see any brood in here. It seems like there's a decent population, not a lot, but a decent population of worker bees. Hopefully nurse bees that really love queens. Nurse bees are supposed to love queens. I'm looking to see if I can see any brood. Now one indication that there may be a queen in here is if there's a lot of bees. The, the bees that flew out, the worker bees that fly out in the mornings, are gonna come back to the hive that smells like the queen. So if you split it, at least this is what I've read, if you split a hive, 
mm -hmm. the hive that has the queen in it mm -hmm. is likely to draw more of the bees back to it. I also have a flashlight that's going to help me see down in there. Actually, I think there may be, may be some eggs. I see possibly one egg, but not a whole bunch of eggs. And I have not seen a queen yet. All right, I don't see any indication that there would be a queen in this hive. And I don't see anything that looks like a queen, a queen cell, like they're actually making a queen. Now the story is that this, this is supposed to be uh, cage side down and pinched between two frames. I'm going to pinch it between these two frames. I'm leaving the cork in for a day or two. That way it gives the bees time to, to smell her and see her. Okay, you can see that that is pinched in there. So I'll give this frame back. I'll come back tomorrow or the next day to uh, check out the status of the hive, check out the queen, make sure she's still alive, and remove the cork so that she can be uh, released by the bees. There's a piece of candy in there that they eat through to help release her. There's not a lot of bees in this one, so I'm a little concerned, but hopefully there's enough to take care of that queen. Okay, we're going into the second one. And we're going to be looking again for anything that looks like a queen cell or eggs. Again, this is mostly honey on this end and open cells. Not too much in there. They're not quite as angry right now. I think it's just because I've divided the population. I suspect when I get into that one, it's going to be a little angry. I think the queen's in there just by the number of bees. I'm actually going to have to put this camera down so I can handle these frames better. This is all honey. I don't see anything that looks like a queen cell on that one. I do see some uh, some eggs, po older eggs, possibly small larvae, and also in this one they probably were already there, but there's a couple of queen cups, and I'm just going to take them out, just to make sure that they're not raising another queen. There's another queen cup right here. I just don't want those to be raised up and, and become a new queen. Again, that's a lot of honey and a lot of empty cells on the back. I did see those two queen cups that possibly had something in it, but I'm not certain. I didn't see a queen. I didn't see any activity that looked like a queen. So my guess is she's not in this hive. Again, I'm going to take this. There's that Italian in there. Same, same queen, same type of queen with the blue mark. And I'm going to put this down, the screen side down, and smush between two frames to hold it in place. I'm going to get my smoke going a little better for this one because I do think she's in this hive, the one that you're sitting on. 
There's a lot of bees in this one. And when I walked over here, they were coming out of this hive very curious. So I'm thinking this is where she's at and I gotta find her. I have a queen clip just in case I see her. I have a buddy that actually wants me to save her for him. He wants to experiment with uh, using her in another location to see if it truly is genetics or if it's just environmental. I'm gonna let him have her. I don't want her. It was mostly honey on that one. These end frames are mostly going to have honey. I'd feel a lot better about this if I would just see her, then I would know. I got her. She's in here. I don't know if you can see her, but she's got a big golden abdomen. There's a handful of nurse bees and worker bees trapped in there with her. Definitely, definitely a queen. She's beautiful. I expected her to be smaller and darker. I don't know why. But that's her. There's no question. There, no bee looks like that. I don't know. Hopefully you can see her. All right. All right. Mission accomplished. Ideally, this, this hive would have been empty, queenless, for uh, 24 hours or more. Uh, so it's a little bit risky because most of these workers still assume that they have a queen so it's a little bit risky putting a new queen in here he advised me to go ahead and put that queen cage with the new queen into the hive and uh, it's going to be okay uh, most likely but I'm not going to remove the cork from the candy end I'm going to leave the cork in there and I'm going to come out tomorrow after 24 hours and remove that cork so there's candy right there and there's a cork right there. Those bees are gonna eat that candy from the inside and the bees on the outside, once I pull this cork out, are gonna eat the candy from the outside. That is going to give her about three days to escape this cage. I hope she's okay. She looks like she's all right. So I'm gonna go ahead and put her in and hopefully everything will be okay. In all of my excitement, I may have lost track of which frames went where. I hope they don't get too mad at me. Oh, who am I? Who am I kidding? They're already mad at me. Oh, 
this may not be the right thing to do but there's a lot of bees in here and not so much in here I'm gonna put both of these nukes on top of this one hoping that some of the drifters will fill that up and help recoup the numbers in these hives What I need is first some of these bees to start coming up here. It looks like some of them already are. Say your prayers, cross your fingers. Here we go. There we go, a three-way split with three new queens. Two nukes on top, a seven five-eighths medium on the bottom. We'll come out tomorrow, we'll see. And I do notice that most of the worms are gone from this. I'm not going to take these up to the house because they have too many bees on it. And I don't want the kids, especially Luke, to risk getting stung. So I'm just going to leave them out here for another day. 